Hi. Here we are again, heading into lockdown with everything that goes with it, including, I'm afraid, singing your video blogs. This time it is different though. Um, in the last lockdown, we didn't understand COVID in the way that we do now. If you remember all the way back to March, it wasn't the practice for staff in healthcare settings to be wearing masks, whereas now that's unthinkable. The vast majority of our services were delivered face to face. And now that's, things are different because we understand the virus. Um, where we're working with people face to face, we're able to keep our staff, our volunteers, our service users as safe as possible. And the majority of our contacts through family support, through therapies, is actually remote um, anyway. For non-care staff like myself, where we can, we're working from home. Um, back in March, I hadn't even heard of Zoom. Now it feels like that is what I do. This time we're ready, which means we can carry on into this lockdown. It does impact some areas of the organisation just as it did the last time, though, and thinking especially of face-to-face -face fundraising, of lottery and of retail. All of those have done a spectacular job in making sure we've got the financial stability so that our services going into second lockdown um, aren't impacted too much. In this blog, I want to give a real shout out to retail in the shops because of course they're going to close from Thursday. The people working and volunteering in the shops have very possibly been in the most difficult Demelza environment to control in terms of infection prevention because the public are coming through all the time. Most of those public have been very supportive but of course not everybody out there is fully in with the programme in terms of mask wearing and hand gelling. Despite managing that and all the other restrictions like customer limits in the shop and having to isolate stock for three days, the shops have turned out some record breaking days and weeks. And just yesterday, they took £11,000 loan as customers are getting the last shop in before um, things start closing down. Just like the care teams, just like everybody else in Demelza, the staff and volunteers in the shop are their real heroes of the charity and it's a bit soul destroying just as things were building back up again that we have to go back into hibernation for high street sales online sales of course still continue but the shops will be back with a bang and we know now that they'll be back with a bang this makes me want to focus on all the other teams, the care teams, IT facilities, housekeeping, catering, all of you. Um, but there's no time for that, so we'll do that next time. Like all of you, we've got lots to do to be ready for Thursday. So just to say thank you for being ready. And whether you're, as before, still continuing to come into hospice or another place of work um, to work, or whether you're working at home predominantly like myself, or whether you end up back on furlough. We're all part of Team Demelza, and just like we've been doing, just like last time, we all continue to communicate and support each other. So thank you. Bye.